100 million dollar project set to transform a southern Indiana school district is hitting some roadblocks. WDRB's Conroy Deloosh explains why there's a delay in adding on to Silver Creek High School. One neighbor we spoke to said she moved out to this part of town because it's so peaceful and quiet. You can see the cows in the farmland right from her deck. Next door, Silver Creek Schools and also from her deck, that massive construction project. Last year, Christy Kane had the best bleacher seats for a baseball game. We have our own bathroom facilities and we can eat and drink and watch the game. That changed over the summer when the diamond was dug up to make way for the new football stadium. The extra dirt flying. Kane says from a close neighbor's perspective, the blasting and digging is a downgrade in view, but it's exciting and they need it. I must say that this is phase one of Silver Creek School Corporation's transformation, which includes a redesign of pick up and drop off at the elementary school and the athletic fields. We did the outdoor facilities first because uh, our information we had said that uh, getting um, our um, supply chain and things of that nature uh, were a little bit more predictable. Additions onto the high school were supposed to begin about the same time but that's been pushed back. Superintendent Chad Briggs says inflation is among the reasons that construction bids came back higher than the district can afford. We anticipate uh, putting our bids out a little differently in the future here uh, that we'll have a little bit better uh, luck in terms of the cost. Briggs says the expectations and scale of the transformation are not changing, just the timing for now. The district is still prepared to spend 95 to $100 million on the entire project. And so we're hoping that um, that as we as we put our bid packages out there, they might be a, a little bit more appealing to more contractors. Briggs says the bids should go out in February with the hope that the class of 2026 will be able to enjoy the new classroom experience. With photojournalist Josh Horton, Conroy Deloosh, WDRB News.